So I'm a little disappointed, Milford, because uh, I heard Barry talk to, to you as, as a new intern saying, uh, talking to you about his misfortune with the, with the patient that he saw, and you instructed him, and I hope you said, but I didn't hear it, that the patient also had a misfortune. I um, learned from Milford too, but in a different way. My first real contact with Milford was when David Hammerman stepped down as chairman of medicine at uh, Montefiore, and Milford was the acting chairman at Einstein, and I became the acting chairman at Montefiore, and I got to know him at that time. We worked together uh, very well, and I got to appreciate his high intelligence, his wisdom, his judgment, his humanity, uh, and it would only grow over the ensuing years. After Lou Sherwood uh, stepped down, and I started to occupy the 10th floor of the Belfer Building, which is the Department of Medicine office, and Milford was there, we worked together very closely for, for years. I think we were successful in unifying the department even more from the two campuses, something that Sherwood had started, and in maintaining and even growing the scientific faculty. Uh, behind closed doors, Milford would discreetly rein in uh, my tendency for impetuousness. And he would do this in the kindest way, you've heard, him, heard, heard others talk about him, in the kindest way, with great honesty, forthrightness, tremendous judgment, and teaching me how to be a leader. When mistakes were made, they were mine. When successes were achieved, they were frequently from Milford's sound judgment. And I thought of him, somebody used the word Solomonic, I thought him to be Solomonic. Although by my count, Milford, you're 699 wives away from Solomon and 300 concubines. <laughs> but at least uh, Chris is worthy to be a Pharaoh's daughter. In my view, the most important thing that most academicians leave behind are their record of training. And as Vic mentioned in, in uh, the article that Milford wrote and we collaborated on some years ago, at that time he had trained six deans, uh, 17 academic chairmen, 23 division heads, and perhaps hundreds of professors. And I'm sure there are many more now, but I haven't kept count. So I congratulate you, Milford. I think you're way above the rest of the crowd, and it's a pretty high crowd. I want to thank you for the support you gave to me and the truly exceptional leadership you've given to the Department of Medicine. I wish you and Chris a long and fruitful retirement as you work at Jacoby. Thank you. <laughs>